Hello friends, hope you liked my previous video comparing different types of sugar. I am back with another video on sugar and in this video I would like to focus on added sugars. So added sugars are often hidden in processed foods. It's very difficult to identify because it comes in different names. There are over 100 different names of added sugars. So it is very difficult for us to identify them in foods. So I thought I will uh, produce another video and hope this video will be useful for you. Please check out for tips to identify added sugar. Thank you. This video explains what are added sugars and what are the different names used for added sugars. Simply put, these are sugars added to foods during different stages of processing to enhance flavor, texture or shelf life. While naturally occurring sugars in fruits and dairy are fine in moderation, added sugars can sneak into foods in unexpected ways. The general recommendation is to limit your sugar intake to 25 to 50 grams a day or about 5 to 10 percent of your daily calories. That's just a few teaspoons. But sticking to this guideline can be tough when sugar is hidden under so many names. Now let's talk about the many disguises of sugar. Here are some tips to help you identify them more easily. First, we have the obvious ones like honey, jaggery and molasses. These are natural sweeteners that many of us recognize. Next, if you see the word sugar in the name, it's a type of sugar. Examples include cane sugar, invert sugar and grape sugar. Watch out for words like syrup, malt, nectar, or juice. These often indicate added sugar. Some examples are agave syrup, brown rice syrup, maple syrup, cane juice, and agave nectar. Here's an easy rule of thumb. If it ends in os, it's most likely a sugar. Think fructose, lactose, sucrose, maltose, and even lesser known ones like allulose or tagatose. Some added sugars have unique names that aren't as obvious. For example, maltodextrin, often used as a sweetener, rapadura made from sugarcane, silent syrup, which comes from dates, sorghum syrup from sorghum grass, sucanat, also from sugarcane. Finally, artificial sweeteners can also be considered added sugars. Some examples include sorbitol, aspartame, saccharin, sucralose, and stevia. While these are often marketed as low-calorie alternatives, they should also be consumed in moderation. Understanding added sugars and their many names is a great step toward making healthier choices. Remember, the key is moderation and being mindful of what's in your food. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more tips on healthy living. Thanks for watching and see you next time.